In this video, let me explain what is shifting theorem, what is the statement of shifting theorem and how it is used in Laplace transform and as well the derivation of shifting theorem. So already we have studied the Laplace transform of standard functions. For example, we know that suppose this is the step signal having magnitude 1 that is unit step signal say u of t we know that the Laplace transform of u of t is that is Laplace transform of u of t is 1 upon s also we have studied the standard function that is ramp signal which is represented like this which is known as r of t also we know that the Laplace transform of r of t is 1 over s square suppose my signal is a step signal having the name u of t but it is not begin at t equal to 0 here we can see that the signal begins at t equal to 0 if you consider this as time axis the ramp signal also begins at t equal to 0 now I will assume that the signal begins at t equal to say some other value say a in that case what supposed to be the Laplace transform of shifted signal similarly the shifted ramp signal may be represented like this let this be shifted by a unit let this is r of t then what is Laplace transform of this shifted step signal similarly what is Laplace transform of shifted ramp signal that is shifting theorem can be used to find Laplace transform of shifted functions or delayed functions. Now let us see what is the statement of shifting theorem. If f of s is Laplace transform of time domain signal say f of t then Laplace transform of the function delayed by t unit is given by that is Laplace transform of f of t minus t that is f of t signal is delayed by t unit the Laplace transform of such function is equal to e power minus t into s here I am using this t indicates delayed by that unit into Laplace transform of f of t which is f of s so this is the statement of shifting theorem I will try to prove this theorem proof We know that Laplace transform of any signal f of t is represented as f of s which is given by integration 0 to infinity f of t e power minus st into dt we will call it as equation 1. Now let me consider the shifted function shifted by t unit that is Laplace transform of f of t minus t is equal to integration 0 to infinity 
so here f of t is f of t minus t e power minus s t into d t because the function is f of t minus t. Now let t minus t is equal to some other function say tau. This I can write t is equal to tau plus t. I call this as equation 2. Now therefore equation 2 can be rewritten as that is t is replaced t minus t is equal to tau that is Laplace transform of f of tau now I can say Laplace transform of f of tau is equal to integration 0 to infinity here we have f of t minus t t minus t is tau that is f of tau into e power minus s we have here t so t is nothing but tau plus t so i will replace t by tau plus t into dt let me simplify this further 0 to infinity f of tau into i will multiply this e power minus s tau into e power minus s into t so here the function here the variable is tau this supposed dt so here it is t tau because the function is tau so here as the variable is tau t is constant so this term is constant i will take it is out of integration that is e power minus s into t 0 to infinity f of tau e power minus s tau into d tau so now if we compare if we look at this expression so this is nothing but the basic definition of laplace transform where the function is f of tau so this is nothing but f of s that is laplace transform of any function is f of s therefore i can write laplace transform of tau is nothing but t minus t f of t minus t is equal to e power minus s t into this entire term is nothing but f of s so thus this theorem is proved now we'll see how to use this theorem for the shifted functions Let me consider an example that this is f of t that is shifted step signal that is unit step signal assume that here its value is t value is 1 this is t equal to 1 we know, we know that the Laplace transform of unit step signal is 1 by s but here it is shifted signal so the Laplace transform of this is Laplace transform of f of t is equal to as we know here it is e power minus s t so here t value is equal to 1 that is this one because it begins at t equal to 1 so e power minus s into t t value is 1 into we have f of s f of s is laplace transform of function so here laplace transform of this function is 1 by s so laplace transform of shifted signal is e power minus s into 1 by s that is e power minus s divided by s similarly if i write the signal like this say this is x of t say the magnitude is 2 say this is t equal to 3 so in this case the laplace transform is given by f of s is equal to the magnitude is 2 that is e power minus s it begins at t equal to 3 e power minus s into 3 into the magnitude is 2 2 by s that is nothing but 2 e power 2 by s e power minus 3 s 
Similarly, I can apply this to shifted ramp signal. Suppose this is the ramp signal, unit ramp signal whose slope is say 1. Say slope is equal to 1. Let me take it as f of t. So here I can say f1 of t. So in this case, uh, let me call this as 2, that is t equal to 2. So now I can write the plus transform of this signal is f1 of s is equal to e power minus s. It is begin at t equal to 2. Therefore, capital T is equal to 2 into 2 into, we know that Laplace transform of ramp signal is 1 by s square. So, I can write it as e power minus 2s divided by s square. This is how we can make use of shifting theorem to find the Laplace transform of shifted signals. Thank you for watching.